big segment of the energy consumption in this country and elsewhere is transportation. As electronic cars are being developed, that would be a good thing, but we're not really ready for prime time yet. Diesel vehicles are, and this is a biodiesel processor. You put waste oil in on this side. It's got a transfer pump, so you can use the neoprene hose to, to make your transfer from 55-gallon drums of waste oil, which is the feedstock for this, any uh, vegetable or animal oil. So the vessel fills up 50-gallon capacity. In this port over here, you'd be adding about 10 gallons of methanol and about 4 pounds of potassium hydroxide lye. In this port, you have to add a little less than a pound of sulfuric acid and then you push the start button. And then the reaction takes place. And so the reaction takes about 16 hours. It stirs, it heats, it's all automated. At the end of 16 hours, you've got a line right about here that's all glycerol. And then above it, you've got this nice yellow free fatty acids, which is what biodiesel is. Then you start a wash cycle. And that takes out any of the unreacted chemicals, and that takes another 24 hours. So at the end of 40 hours, now you've got 50 gallons of biodiesel. You can produce a fuel for 80 cents a gallon. That's what it costs with your, your chemicals and your electricity to make your fuel. The cost of the device is about 8,000. So after 4,000 gallons with diesel fuel costing some around 280 at least, um, it takes about 4,000 gallons to break even on your capital cost expense. That's assuming you're getting your waste oil for free. Restaurants produce waste oil. McDonald's, Burger King, those guys have got contracts that goes to be sprayed over dog food. That is not available for those of us that want to make our own fuel. But there are plenty of other independent restaurants that produce a lot of waste oil. They used to have to pay to get rid of it. In Northern California, there's so many people doing this that it's, it's hard to find a waste oil source. In the Midwest, it's, there's a lot of material in the South also.